City rover making a major discovery on Mars. Corey Powell, editor at large, Discover Magazine, with us for some some funky things. This is our funky things segment today. Good morning, uh, to you, Corey. I'm, I'm, I'm always happy to do funky. Uh, I got you. We we have two images here. The first one is actually the Mars rover. Right. It's been up there for a year, right? Just one one year anniversary about a week ago. Right. I just just had, just celebrated its first year on Mars. Gotcha. Okay. Now advance it one time and tell me what in the world is. This. <laughs> that's, that's where the, the robot was digging into the Mars dirt. Uh, part of what it was sent there to do is to dig down, take, take some samples of Mars dirt, put it in a little oven inside, cook that stuff to 1,500 degrees, and basically see what comes out. Find out really? What, find out what Mars okay, is Okay, and off. so what did it find in that dust? So all kinds of different things came out, but one of the most interesting things that came out is basically steam. Turns out that Mars, th that dry Mars dust is full of water. It's about 2% water. So if you just took one cubic foot of Mars dust and cooked it, you get about two pints of water out of it. So at some point, if we can get there, you could go without water to Mars, use a similar technique, that, right. so and that, produce water on Mars. That's part of the excitement. You, you go there with basically you know, just, a, you know, just a big magnifying glass, a big, you know, solar oven, basically. You could cook out drinking water, you know, you could you could create a little greenhouse and have have food, and the, you can split the water with electricity and make rocket fuel. I got you. Okay, it's a big wow yeah. moment, right? Big but wow moment. Didn't we already think, or <laughs> didn't we already I know. believe there been a that lot water of was there? about water on Mars? What's the truth? Um, there's been a lot of evidence that water was on Mars billions of years ago, or that water is on Mars in some places. You know, uh, you know, off at the poles. This tells you there's water on Mars everywhere right now, and that the, basically the entire planet is wet, which is a real surprise. You know, it looks dry. Yeah, Everybody right. described it as a desert. Uh, it turns out those resources are everywhere, and if there's life on Mars, you know, that, that water is everywhere. You know, that means it's in all the different habitats so of Mars. So then do we know if there is life on Mars oh, because of this discovery? If there were life on Mars, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be doing a bigger story than this. The, you know, the real, if there's life on Mars, it's probably buried. It's probably very hard to find. But what this is telling us, it's kind of interesting, is that not only are conditions on Mars good for life now, conditions on Mars billions of years ago might have actually been better for life than I on see. Earth at the time. Life on Earth might have started on Mars. There are people who are actually well, making that argument. Now you're burying the lead. Uh -huh. uh, quickly, <laughs> uh, in 15 seconds, what is next for the rover, or what should we expect to hear from folks like that? So you? all of this, the, you're looking at the results from the first 100 days on Mars. Um, the rover's going to be there for two years. It's climbing up a mountain. It's going to do geology. It's going to look at all these different environments. Um, the surface of Mars is, is as expansive as all the, the, entire, all the continents on Earth. There's a lot of Mars to explore, and we're just starting to look. So. Imagine, this thing could go for two more years. It's really extraordinary. And and the more. communication back with planet Earth, phenomenal stuff. It's got a nuclear power source. It's going to keep going. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. Yes. Talk to you soon, okay? Corey Powell. All right. Martha.